a lot today, but I promise we'll try to get through this as quickly and painlessly as possible. First of all, me name is Executive Assistant District Attorney Stilkin, and Timmy Wright is Assistant District Attorney Murm. Afternoon. First off, let's get your names for the record. I'm up, baby one. I'm uh, yep. king number two. Which makes you king, king number 85. So let's review your story. At <laughs> one, you were alone in your straw house, and approaches the house and knocks it down. Yep. He kept saying uh, he'd blow my house in, which sounded a little weird. So I don't know what on, and I was shaking. You know that little dumb boy in front of me. Well, any place. Before I knew it, bam! My house just got fucked. Then what? Well, I was freaking out, right? So I barely tell it on to more bros. He showed up all this tomorrow, and he pork on my. I felt his forehead, he was baking, and I'm in sizzling. <laughs> Go on. Well, same thing, basically. I'm shaving, and that hair gash with that fancy. And before I know it, my bachelor pants go to place. And that's where you come in? Quite. They arrived at my doorstep. I just frazzled. And I hugged at them with team conference. At which point the perpetrator arrived. It tainted ID to call Ben Power Destruction, but failed. That is a fault, Timmy Osma. What about this wolf character? You know him? We did. He was the highest bidder on the contract for all three of our houses. <laughs> but all of us withdrew at the last moment. Why? We saw him and that poor girl in the red video on Judge Judy. Yeah, we <laughs> messed last month with the old lady. The thing with the schnauzer in the empty kitchen cabinet? No. Oh, the one who lives in the Reebok. No, the other old lady. You know that better to blank you with, my dear. Right. <clears throat> so, we certainly didn't want any association with convicted felon. Was he angry about your pulling the contract? Perhaps the news may be a bit. Hello, motive. Chances are we'll need you to testify on what you just told us. We will do whatever is necessary. <laughs> One thing I'm not clear on, why the disparity in the composition of your respective residences? Um, well, it's a simple story, really. See, Ma and Paul passed away, though. Ten years back. Swine food. <laughs> 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 and they left behind a sizable trust fund for each of us. But, um, the problem is, me and Pig One, we got our vices. Me, I guess most of my inheritance is an executive producer of Kevin Van Watt's debut album. What's wrong with you? Oh, this little biggie went to Vegas. <laughs> he lost everything in the black Always bet on pink. <laughs> and as you can imagine, given that red black the only options in the left, and given that cap red along well, you know. Uh, pig one and I didn't have much money left over the rest of the estate. Right. Hence my straw, camel sticks. And what about you? I invest in my inheritance on you condominium. Replete with fortified Ukrainian stainless steel, state of the art motion sensory alarm system, and most importantly, a windproof foundation. Sounds <coughs> not cheap. Indeed. Mm, I too no longer have any money. But at least we have each other. Like, uh, brothers in a blanket. <laughs> <laughs>
has already explained he received three BYOF invitations on MySpace. And he gently found no such invitation. They could have been easily deleted. You're scraping, though. What's about the slow motion chasing? I was afraid, okay? I mean, how many times I get blamed for crimes I don't commit? First of all, right instant, then the whole mix of that Peter kid. I mean, I can't take it anymore. I have some brilliant advice. Stop committing crimes. My client's innocent still. Please stand. Have it your way. Glad to see you're still at it. Keep as usual, doing what's expected of you. Grabbing the criminal, following the herd. Say what you will, I'm just doing what I'm supposed to. And what's that? My job. <laughs> 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 Two houses in the same day, both taken down by a fan toting wolf. I know, boss. It's crazy. Didn't this same thing happen in Eastwick a couple of months back? It was in the Daily News. I forgot about that. So you might say that this case has been ripped from the headlines. Ooh, yeah, good point. Anyway, headline looking aside, we gotta talk about this baby wolf character, who I don't have to remind you has been a thorn in my side for longer than I can remember. We remember. I get a solid month's worth of free from Castle Hill every time Harry Gary here walks. I need you to drop the net on this guppy. Queen, this case is water tight. We'll get a conviction before Gavel hits wood. Well, you better, because I don't care what you have to do. Stack the tree with some ringers if you have to. But you didn't hear nothing from me. <laughs> hear what from you? Exactly. <laughs> what happened anyway? Merv here just got back from vacation. So we scoop and I think him out. I'm still not used to walking on dry land. It's weird. It's like the opposite of sea legs. Well, I'm coming to life when the sea by and large is far superior to anything we've got up here. Don't I know it. Well, you better recover and recover fast. I need you both on your way this <coughs> afternoon. Don't worry, Queenie. Before the hour is up, our big and bad perks can have wolf and down prison food. You're all got this guilty verdict from Wolf Blitzer. You both are hungry like the wolf. And I like that. <laughs> now see you both tomorrow. I'm cutting out early. Hot date? Nope. I'm running for president. Hey, nice. Good for you. <laughs> How do I look? Wicked hot. You're the hottest of them all. That's clearly kissing up. But you're both promoting. <laughs> <laughs>